Okay, so now we're going to do a quick lap. Maybe not the whole lap, but a quick race. Just talk a little bit about the physics of driving. I'm not a huge racer, but then again, I'm doing this for all those people out there who aren't big on racing, so they can know how the game feels like. No shift, no eight shift is for this car. I honestly cannot explain how accurate this game is with this car physics. It's amazing. Ooh, ooh. I have the opponent on medium, but they're actually going to be pretty hard. They're really good at this. This is my first time doing the lap around here, so don't expect too much. But yeah, like I said, the physics... Oh! It's too good. You know what? Let's, just, let's hit that restart real quick. Let's do a better job. Now, get the shift. paddle shift is working. Tap there. Stop, stop. Let me go. You can honestly feel every single bit of the track. I mean, for anyone who's been out here. Before, they will definitely know how to optimize this track in this game. It's amazing. Ooh, nice little jump there. And we're off the track. One more try in here. See if we can do it a little bit better. Better start there at least. Okay, I don't get stuck in the back again. I love how the sun shines on the window or on the windshield. No! Sorry! Let's keep that going. No! And we're. That's a bad one. Let's try one more time here. Factory traction control here and uh, about 50% stability control because it's really hard without it. No! Okay. Well, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of driving. Okay, so, moving on to drifting now. First thing I want to mention is the fact that it is very smooth, but when you're drifting, there's like quite a bit of jutters as you're drifting. 
I mean, look at that amazing graphics right there. Even though I don't have the best TV. By the way, that's another thing I should mention. Is uh, this game really deserves a uh, fast, like a 120 HZ TV at least. With 68Z like this one, or probably even less, you don't see the beauty of it. It is actually really amazing. They did a really good job. Really good job. Uh, my time's gonna run out here, but it's okay. We'll restart it and then uh, try to do some drifts. Um, the things I should mention before I start is the force feedback is really really strong when you first start the game i really recommend that you lower it to like at least 35. it's really strong and like honestly you would damage your wheel if you try racing or drifting like that within probably like an hour if not you'll just overheat it so that's the first thing i recommend you do then you can play around with the other options and try to make it as smoothly or as accurate as you want I haven't found the best option yet, I'm still playing around with it, so I won't show you, it's not, it's not necessary for me to show you this, the options yet, but um, at least lower the master force feedback option, like the first one on the top, to at least 35%. Another thing I want to mention is, um, let me just start here, is... Oh, I don't have a, a handbrake, by the way, I should let you know that, so I gotta use the circle button on my, on the steering wheel. So let's just drift first, maybe I think of something. See, it's very accurate, and also, yeah, other people are thinking about, is it worth it going from PC to PS4? So for me, I didn't have a maxed out uh, PC, pretty much, so I had to lower the settings a lot when I was drifting on the PC. So coming onto the PS4 was really, really helpful and made it so much more better. So that's one reason. The other reason is because I'm waiting for... Pay oh! Nice save, I guess. I'm waiting for PlayStation VR to come out. So then you could drift in VR and be able to look around the cockpit and everything and all. Oh, that, that's going to be a crazy experience. Um, I haven't tried drifting with, with virtual reality before, so that's going to be very interesting. I've used virtual reality before, but for simpler games. Oh, probably use a higher gear on that one. But yeah, um, the graphics is really amazing. I really love it. Oh, come on. I can do better. Gotta get used to this. I know the third gear is a lot longer, that's why. So it won't be that much helpful. And you can't really change the gear settings for the cars yet. Which is kind of a downside of the game, I guess. But I don't even think you could change it in the, in the PC version either. But that would be something that would be very helpful. The sense of speed in this game, by the way, I should mention, is really good. I love the replay feature also. I don't see that a lot in, uh, in uh, most videos, but the replay feature is really nice. You can f skip to the end, start at the beginning, forward, pause, slow motion. You can still do everything that you can on the computer, which is really good because most games on consoles, they don't have that sort of type of... Uh, replay feature, except for Grid. That's the only game I remember that had the best replay feature. I'm yeah, doing a little bit better here. Just didn't need to tap it there. I guess we were good. Um, let's give you guys another view here real quick. Again, like I mentioned, you'll see the best of this game if you have like a high frame rate monitor or a high frame rate TV. I was playing it on the 128 set and oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Uh, but yeah, as for realism of the game, it's really here. I'll try to turn here real quick. Here. See, it's such a long gear, like, it probably will not work. 
especially that I don't have the handbrake to help me out to the link drifts. Well, I do have the handbrake, but like I, I said, it's circle button which I can't reach right there. Um, I'll add like a little quick replay at the end so you can see kind of the, the graphics and how the car moves and stuff like that. Um, other than that, everybody else, like other videos and stuff, I've already said a lot of things about the game. Uh, I do recommend it 100%, especially if you are going to be getting the PlayStation VR. It says it's PS VR compatible, but I'm not 100% sure, but they should definitely make it VR compatible. I mean, it's already compatible on the computer, so I don't see why not. Other than that, I'll leave you guys to a quick little replay footage. And, uh, yeah. I'm not good at drifting outside, but here, let me just do some donuts for you guys real quick as the time runs out.